are here at IMTS 2024 in the Mazak booth. Here with us is Tyler. We're going to be talking about Mazak Smart Box Generation 2. They're showcasing this brand new here at IMTS. Really exciting stuff. Tyler, I'm going to turn it over to you. Tell us about the Smart Box and what functions it brings to a shop. Sure, sure, absolutely. So the uh, the Gen 2 Smart Box, uh, it's going to cover a couple things. So first, it's going to be uh, network security, um, which is one of the most important parts of it. So it's going to be able to keep your assets completely secure from your network and keep your network completely secure from your assets. Um, so on top of that, it's also going to do uh, assist with things like data collection. So we're using MT Connect on all of our machine tools. Um, we'll be able to bring that MT Connect data through the Smart Box and then export it to whatever uh, uh, monitoring software you choose. Um, on top of the MT Connect data, we also have uh, Docker containers that are going to be able to convert the data to MQTT protocol and OPC UA as well. And when you guys were developing the generation two, were there any new features that you guys decided to put on this generation? Absolutely. So, so differences between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. Um, in the Gen 1, we had the optional PLC and now it comes standard. So we've got the, the bus coupler PLC that's going to come standard with the box. It's going to give you the ability to be able to hook up additional sensors like uh, temperature sensors, uh, different I.O., uh, to be able to do um, high-frequency data sampling. On top of that, we've also uh, decided to include the IPC as standard, um, so you're able to start doing a lot more edge computing on the, on the box itself. You have the ability to be able to install your own uh, software, create your own dockers. Uh, you're basically going to be able to do as much edge computing on the device that you'd like to do. And when you guys were developing this, were there any partnerships that you guys had to like really bring power to the smart box? Yeah, so, so Mazak chose to partner with uh, Simani, the uh, Cybersecurity Manufacturing Innovation Institute. Uh, they've been a, a huge partner for us. And they've been really critical in helping us uh, kind of hone in on the security side of things, um, and we're still actively working with them and their team now to, to, to really make this the, the best product it can be. Sure, and sometimes security can be overlooked, and so what would be your advice to customers, that mid-sized shop that really doesn't have that big IT team, what's your advice to them on looking into the smart box? So, so the big advice that I have for them is, is you know, you're never too small to not be a target. Uh, you know, a lot of times we see a lot of the medium-sized and small-sized shops, they think, oh, we're, we're not that big, nobody's going to target us, but actually it's kind of the opposite usually. A lot of times they'll have a network that might not be as secure as some of the big name shops. So because of that, uh, they get targeted sometimes more frequently than, than others. So we get a lot of them that come to us and they say, hey, I was, I was a victim of a ransomware attack and they held our machines hostage and, and you know, I wish I would have known about this solution sooner. So, so the biggest thing I can stress is that nobody is too small for, for, for cyber security. It, 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 can, it can come after anybody. Something you wish you had when it happened, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Tyler, thanks so much for being with us. If you're here at IMTS, please be sure to stop by the Mazak booth, and we'll see you next time.